10 hour day, 12 hour day, just to get all the mail out. Mac, the mailman, has been running the same routes for 30 years. It's his days that are getting longer as the mail volume gets bigger. Today, I had a lot of packages. With Christmas just days away, this week is always the peak of their busy season. It's awesome. This is our Super Bowl. I say it every year. But the demand right now is record breaking. Hi. The Postmaster General expects to have one third more volume than last year due to more people ordering online and shipping gifts instead of gathering in person during the pandemic. From Thanksgiving until now, on average, we're doing about 500 million pieces of first class a day. 500 million. So that kind of tests out to be about 3 billion pieces of first class mail. That's incredible. It comes on the heels of the high stakes election season with record breaking mail in voting. The Postal Service has been delivering more while facing staffing shortages, in part due to hundreds of employees contracting COVID-19 in the South Florida region. And now that it's crunch time, a snowstorm in the Northeast is one more issue that could contribute to shipping delays. So that is going to add another challenge, but we're confident that we will bring the holidays to our customers. We have the employees, they're psyched up, um, they're doing a great job. So we're just going to keep an eye on everything and, and um, keep our fingers crossed. South Florida's USPS spokesperson tells CBS 12 News they're adjusting operations to ensure deliveries are on time, extending work days, adding vehicles, and expanding services on Sundays. And while they've never worked harder, mail carriers like Mac McDermott say they've never been prouder to perform this essential job. I work for the U.S. Postal Service, red, white, and blue. I mean, we're the Postal Service. Benjamin Franklin, 1775, it's amazing.